Suspense. And the producer of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, the master of mystery and adventure, William N. Robeson. There is more than one kind of mystery. In addition to the whodunits, there are the howdunits and the whydunits. Take the celebrated murder story of Frankie and Johnny. Everybody knows who done it, Frankie. And everybody knows why she done it. Because Johnny done her wrong. But we feel that how she done it, with Miss Margaret Whiting starring as Frankie, makes a story well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. Sometimes. What are you talking about? Except sometimes, Johnny, when you go away. Where do you go when you go away? Oh, come on now, baby. Don't start that again. Where do you go, Johnny? The Kukaloos on Basin Street. You know that. They don't give you nothing there that I can't give you here, Johnny. What's there is a back room. A back room and a place to play my licorice stick. A place to sit and play and nobody bothers. Me and a couple of others. You know that, baby. Don't you worry. You can play your music someplace else and get money for it. I worry about that. Don't you start riling me, Frankie. Why don't you take yourself a walk? The whole town of New Orleans. So many places to play your music and you sit in the back room. You go away from me and I... I'll tell you something, baby. You don't like it, you can take that long walk to Georgia where you come from. You leaving? No. A couple of girls I used to know never bothered me about going down to Kukaloos. All right. I won't bother you. That's better. Got any money, Frankie? I got some. I saw me a suit. Walking down Basin Street, I saw me a suit in the store window. Oh, I need me that suit, honey. I'd sure look good in it. What's it cost, Johnny? You want me in a cheap suit? I didn't say that. I just asked. A hundred dollars. You got a hundred dollars, baby? I got it. Oh, that's good. That's fine. Johnny and me, we went walking. Johnny wore his brand new suit. You are my man, Johnny. Show him your man, Frankie. Show me off, baby. All right, honey. We walk down to Esplanade where the lights are, and everybody can see you fine. We walked real slow along the basin. The gals, they all call him by name. But I walk real close to my Johnny. Cause I know. Frankie, 
honey. All this walking's tying me out. Well, I'm showing you off, Johnny, like you said. Showing my man off in the bright light. Light's just as bright as Kukaloo's, and I kind of like it where the lights are inside, anyhow. Anywhere you want, Johnny. Sure. So we walk back along Basin. Back up to old Kukaloo. He bought it for me. It's a good, Johnny. You look real nice. <laughs> Who is that, Johnny? Oh, just a girl. Nellie Bly. Pretty friendly, aren't you? No, just polite. Is she why you come down here all the time? Frank, I told you, don't you rile me. All right, Johnny. Don't you forget, you're my man. Sure, sure. Say, I need me a beer, Frankie. Get you one? I ain't thirsty, honey. Oh, I'm thirsty. I'm real thirsty. All I got left is $9. I ain't that thirsty. Just give me one of them. All right. Here. I, I, I'll set you down here by the piano, and you can listen to Tiso. You wait here, Frankie. I'll bring me back my beer, and I'll sit with you. Hi, Frankie. What would you like to hear? Just do what you're playing, Tiso. I like that fine. Dreamy like, huh? Yeah, I feel dreamy. How are you and Johnny getting along, Frankie? Like that music you're playing? Well, I'm glad. I'm mighty glad. You ever get homesick, Frankie? First I did. I never think about home no more. George is a real nice place. A gal can do real nice there. I'm doing nice. I got Johnny. Yeah? Sure I got Johnny. He comes back to the table from the bar, you ask him. I do that. When he comes back. He ain't at the bar, Frankie. He ain't. Not anymore, he ain't. Look for yourself. Bartender. Uh, yes, ma'am. Where's Johnny? Uh, your name's Frankie, ma'am? Yeah. Where's Johnny? Well, he told me to tell you something. He said he had to leave. He said don't wait up for him. Where'd he go? Uh, I don't know, ma'am. He didn't say that. I ran to the street in a hurry. My Johnny was nowhere around. A gal leaning in a doorway made a soft laughing sound. <laughs> Looking for your man? <laughs> your Johnny's gone. Walk up and down all the pavement. On a million locked doors. Keep on asking for my Johnny in the weeping corridor. He is my man. He can't do wrong. Guys tried to sell me. Nighttime. Guys tried to kiss away my tears. Said, come along, pretty Frankie. He's my man. 
turned into a dark alley. Close by that jelly's gin mill. Hello, Miss Willie. Good evening, Amy. I haven't noticed. Oh, it's a real pretty evening, Frank. You out strolling all alone? I guess I am. Come on inside. We'll have us a chat. No, I, I'm going to walk some more. We'll have us some beer. No, thanks, Miss Willie. We'll have us some whiskey, Frankie. No, I, I got to walk some more. I got something to tell you, Frankie. What? Well, I sit here all day long, all night long, too. I never sleep. I see all sorts of things, all sorts of people. You see Johnny come by here, Miss Willie? <laughs> yeah, Johnny. He sure is a good-looking boy. Black hair plastered down like that. My, my, the way he walks. You notice the way he walks, huh? People step back and let him come past the way he walks. My Johnny. See him come by here lately? I seen a gal come by here lately. Alone? Not this gal. Ain't a night for a gal to be alone. A real pretty gal. Who was she with, Miss Willie? Had gold hair and red lips. Her name was Nellie Bly. Nellie Bly? He said hello to a gal named Nellie over Cuckaloos. He wasn't saying goodbye when they passed here. Where'd they go? Show off his new suit, I guess. Where'd they go? Down the street. Down that way, Frankie. Down to Jelly Cake's place? I think I saw them going to Jelly Cake's. I ain't sure now, but I think they did. Where you going, Frankie? Jelly Cake's the other way. I'm going to find me a pawn shop. Why, Frankie? I got to buy me something. What? Got to buy me a gun. In a moment, we continue with... Suspense. Somebody once said, tomorrow is the today we talked about yesterday, which is another way of saying, don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. And one of the smartest things you can do today is enroll for a USAPI course. USAPI offers more than 340 courses to choose from and several ways to study them. So it will pay you to start planning for your future now. If you expect to leave the service soon, don't let that worry you. Provisions have been made for our service personnel who are discharged while they're taking a USAPI course. If you're studying a correspondence course, you're allowed nine months from the day of your discharge to complete your USAPI studies providing you submitted at least one lesson while you were in the service. If you're taking a self-teaching course, you're also given nine months to complete it after your discharge. And if you're taking a course through a college or university, USAFI allows you a full year after discharge to complete the course. So whether you're a 30-year man or not, take advantage of a good deal and enroll with USAFI now. For a uniform education, study with USAFI. And now... We continue with Frankie and Johnny, starring Miss Margaret Whiting. A tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. There'll be some more where that come from after a little refreshment. <laughs> Jelly cake. Oh, how are you, Miss Frankie? Can I talk to you a minute, Jelly cake? Sure can. Sit down here. Uh, you like a little something to drink? No, thanks. Has Johnny been in here? He been here. With a girl? Mm-hmm. What they do here? Mm, they're sitting over there. Then they got up and danced for a while, a couple of times when we played them soft. But mostly, they just sat. He kissed her? <laughs> you ought not ask me things like that, Miss Frankie. I want to know what he did. Well, there was a little fight while he was in here. Wasn't very much of a fight. He just hit a man, that's all. 
Donnie never hit a man on account of me. Oh, no, wasn't that, Miss Frankie? Uh, some man walked by and spilt a little gin on Johnny's new suit. It was an accident. The man didn't mean nothing, but Johnny hit him. <laughs> Said the man ruined his suit. Johnny might have killed that man, except for the lady. He called Nellie. She fixed it. Fixed it? How? Took Johnny out of here for a little while. Then to come back, Johnny was smiling. Johnny was smiling and leaning close to this girl and telling her things. Then she'd be smiling, too, and laying her head up against Johnny's new yellow suit. <laughs> yellow suit? Well, I didn't buy him a yellow suit. That's the kind of suit he's wearing when he come back in here, Miss Frankie. Soft kind of yellow. Not the kind that screams at you. Uh, whispery kind of yellow. The one I bought him cost $100. Oh, you couldn't buy that yellow suit for no $100. This was five pearl buttons on the coat, and the vest was silk, and there was a big gold chain across the front. Oh, that Johnny lighted up the place with a soft, pretty light. I'd have bought him a suit like that if he'd asked me to. I'd have bought him anything he wanted. You uh, never bought him no diamonds, did you? Diamonds? Yeah, like the one he's wearing on his little finger. Miss Frankie, that was the biggest diamond in the whole world. The brightest one, too. That Johnny ain't never gonna need a light to find his way around. Not with that diamond on his little finger. I guess Nellie bought him that, too. And the patent leather shoes. And the cane. <laughs> I guess she likes him real well. Guess that Johnny got himself a woman. Where'd they go, Jelly Cake? Out of here. Some time ago. Uh, must have been an hour. Where? Uh, he gave me a dollar to play him a tune. He called me a tune and said, play it before I take my loving Nellie home. You know where she lives? Yeah, up there where S-Line crosses Charteris, Miss Frankie. Uh, third house down, left side. Thanks, Jelly Cake. What you gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do. You gonna kill him? Well, night, Miss Frankie. <laughs> yeah. You my man, Johnny? All yours, Nellie. <laughs> you my woman? I ain't nobody else's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gonna like it in Memphis, Johnny? I'm gonna like it fine as long as you're there. By and by after Memphis, we'll go on up to St. Louis. <laughs> I can make out fine in St. Louis. I know you can. You ever been up river, Johnny? No farther than that. Oh, you're gonna like it. <laughs> you're gonna like it fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey! We're gonna miss that morning boat lesson you get on with your packing. Yeah. Always something gotta spoil the fun. I'll get it, honey. Here's the clarinet you sent me over to your place for, Johnny. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Anybody there? No. No one. That's good. Thanks. Sure, Johnny. Come on, Nellie, baby. Get along with that packing. I aim to play me some music before the boat pulls out in the morning. That man took all of my money. That man took all of my love. He left me so sad and so lonely. My heart's a broken winged dove. He is my man, but he's doing me wrong. Got a big rock on his finger, bright yellow suit on his back. Making love to that Nelly Black, the driver. Roll this hack. Gonna kill that man. What'd you say, lady? Gonna kill that man.
turn here. Three houses down and stop. I guess, I guess you want to go someplace after, after you leave here, lady. You, you, you want me to wait? You can wait. What do you want? Where's Johnny? I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Ellie Bly live here? She's gone, lady. She ain't never coming back. A man with her? Wearing a yellow suit and a golden chain and a diamond ring? Name's Johnny, huh? A gent. A real gent. He's gone, too. He's gone with Nellie Bly. They talk about where they were going? They talk about Memphis, St. Louis. About riding a riverboat come on. That Johnny was a real sport. Made a five-dollar bill right here where my hand is. I only got two dollars. Right here where my hand is. Thank you kindly. What did you buy for five dollars, mister? What I'm going to sell you for two. Johnny sent me to his place to pick up something. You're lying. Johnny ain't got nothing except what's on his back. Got a clarinet. That's what he told me to get, that's all. What do you want Johnny for? I got something to give him, too. What's that? A gun. You, you find him, lady? I know where he is. I know for sure where he is. Yeah, is that where we're going? To Kukaloo's. Oh, on Basin Street. That's right. Yeah, I know, I know where that is. It won't take long. Cabby. Yeah, lady. I got no more money. Oh. I can't pay you for this ride, cabby. You weren't kidding, were you, about what you said before? About what? About killing a man. I wasn't kidding. I'm going to kill him. This ride won't cost you nothing. I wish I had me a gal like you. Love me so much you'd kill for me. I wouldn't do a gal like that no wrong. Where you think you're going, Frankie? Get out of my way, Nellie Bly. I can't go in that back room. Johnny won't even let me go in there, so he ain't gonna let you. I got no argument with you, so get out of my way. You got an argument with my sweet man. You got an argument with me. You want to go to Memphis, Nellie? I'm going. You want to go to St. Louis? I'm going there, too. Maybe you're going, and I ain't going to stop you. But you're going to find another sweet man to go with, not Johnny. <laughs> Honey, he don't love you no more. He's tired of you. You told me. You told me lots of things. You told me about my gold hair. My red lips told me... You ain't going with Johnny, so get out of here, Nellie. Go on. Get out. Where you hold that gun, I guess I'd better. Get on that riverboat and never come back. Here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Shame to kill him, Miss Frankie. He ain't much of a guy, but Johnny plays a lot of clarinet. Get out, Cheezo. You oughtn't to kill him, Frankie. When you leave here, mister, close the door. Johnny. Goodbye, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Johnny. Roll him over easy, boy. Roll him over slow. Hey, what's going on in here? He got shot, officer. He did. You do it, Frankie? I did it. Then I gotta take you down to the jailhouse, Frankie. I brought you a chair to stand on, Frankie, in case you want to look out the jail window while he's passing by. You want to look? Climb on up and look, Frankie. What do you see? 
I see a long black coffin with people in funeral clothes. Johnny's gone and cashed his checks. To the graveyard, my Johnny goes. There goes that rubber tired carriage. There goes that rubber tired hat. starred in Frankie and Johnny, produced and directed by William N. Robeson. Listen. Listen again next week when we return with another tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. Frankie and Johnny was adapted from the folk song by David Friedkin and Mort Fine. Music by Leith Stevens. The part of Johnny was played by Shepard Menken. Also heard in the cast were Shirley Mitchell, Amanda Randolph, Roy Glenn, Joe DeSantis, Jay Novello, Corny Anderson, and Dawes Butler. 